Hey everybody, it is John with Seattle Coffee Gear. We are here in the commercial kitchen today and today we're talking about doser grinders. I have three examples for Eureka today. We're going to talk about what might make one of these a good fit for your cafe, why you might want to go with the doser grinder, and then just kind of an overview of doser grinders in general. <clears throat> so here with me today, I have the Club Doser, I have the Olympus 75 Doser, and the KR Doser all from Eureka. And a lot of the design elements on these and things that you adjust on these are very similar to other grinders and the configurations that we have selected here are also pretty similar to other grinders. So these two are both flat burr grinders. This is a conical burr grinder. This has 60 millimeter flat burrs, 75 millimeter flat burrs, and 68 millimeter conical burrs. So this is gonna be similar to uh, Mazer Mini or maybe a uh, Eureka, or I'm sorry, Eureka, Nuova Simonelli, smaller grinder, a little bit smaller than the MDX. This would be similar to a Mazer Major or uh, Nuova Simonelli MDJ um, or grinders in that same large flat burr category. And this would be similar to a Mazer Coney um, or other grinders with slightly larger conical burrs. Why would you choose a doser grinder for your cafe? There's a couple reasons you might be thinking that. Usually one of the main reasons people are looking at doser grinders is because of cost. Oftentimes you can get a doser grinder with the exact same burrs, the exact same motor for much less than you can get its doserless counterpart. Just because they're not as popular, there's not as much technology on them. You can usually get a pretty good deal for some great grind quality by going by going with a doser grinder if you don't mind having this doser and having a slightly more old school style. <clears throat> Another reason would be that some people just don't like the tech. Uh, some people don't like the button that you press to start a doserless grinder. They don't like the fact that there's an electronic control board there that they have to worry about. So they go with one of these because there's less electronics. If you are not a fan of electronics or you've had a bad experience with them breaking on you, you might want to consider a doser grinder. <clears throat> or if you are an extremely busy cafe and you're just cranking drinks out the door, a doser grinder is still going to be a little bit faster than even the fastest doser list grinders. And I've done some testing on these and the dosing or the amount of coffee they give you is pretty accurate and it's actually adjustable. But we'll cover that in a little bit here. <clears throat> so I have a portal filter here. The dosers work all in the same way. You put your porta filter in the slot, you pull your paddle to dispense your coffee. <clears throat> and then these also have built-in tampers. That's not as popular now. It was more so in the past. You'll still see some very high capacity, uh, high volume shops that are not as concerned with making each cup perfect. Uh, you'll see those types of shops using these just because you can go and uh, move quickly. But as you can see, it is pretty quick to just pull that. <clears throat> These all have a little counter on the side of them. Let's see if I can move. Move one of these to the side so you can see that. So if you look over here, you can see this little counter is keeping track of how many shot, how many times this has been pulled. Uh, and if you have this set up to pull a single shot, that's going to tell you basically how many shots you've done so far. This back here, I'm going to display it on this one again. So on the top of this here, you'll see this little screw and this adjusts, at least on all three of these, this adjusts how much coffee you're getting per pull. <clears throat> I've done tests on these grinders here um, and I have most of these set up for about nine grams per pull. So then I can get right about 18 grams. Um, and it is pretty accurate, uh, probably plus or minus a 10th or two tenths of a gram per pull. So if you're concerned about accuracy in your dose, um, these do a pretty good job. Put this back together here. Why don't we talk a little bit about kind of how these work uh, when you start to run low on coffee. So these are on, I don't know if you can see that in the video, but the red light there means that they're on. So if I pull this, <clears throat> pretend I just pulled the double shot. Everybody's gonna complain that I'm wasting coffee, but I'm doing it for a good purpose, guys. I'm gonna 
almost there when it's going to kick on. So you also really don't have to think about these grinders as long as you're okay with holding a lot of ground coffee in here, especially if you're a busy cafe. This is always going to stay full and turn off automatically once it gets to a set point. Um, I'm going to explain it on this grinder here because it's a little bit easier for you guys to see in here because this one's shorter. But this plastic flap here, it moves forward. So when it gets out to that point, it stops the grinding. When it's in here, it's on. When it's out here, it's off. On, off, on. And then it slowly pushes it out while the grinder is running and then stops it once it gets to a set point. Some people will use these grinders just like that. They won't, uh, they'll keep a dosing chamber full so they have coffee ready when a customer walks in or for the next person in the line if they're busy. Uh, some people will just turn the grinder off and then turn it back on when they're ready to grind more coffee and then just dose as they're grinding. That's a popular move if you're trying to use your grinder more like a doserless grinder, but um, save money by going with a doser grinder. I'm gonna turn this one off just so I don't grind out any more coffee there. <clears throat> if you think about how long it takes to fill the doser, that's gonna be another um, thing to think about. As you get up to this size here where you have 75 millimeter burrs and a pretty powerful motor, this is gonna fill this grinding chamber pretty quickly, but because it's spinning those burrs so quickly, this does tend to heat up a little bit, especially if you're grinding a lot of coffee at once. This is a conical burr grinder. And so in my experience, this doesn't get quite as hot as this one does, but um, it definitely makes more sense to have it run consistently so that the burrs are at a consistent temperature. Your grind is a little bit more consistent. It's a big word I'm using a lot here. <clears throat> this grinder here is pretty slow. You saw how long it took for this one to turn off. Uh, based compared to how long it took this turn, it took this one to turn off. It gives you kind of an idea of that there. Um, yeah, that's kind of a brief overview of doser grinders, one that you might pick, why you might pick it for your cafe. I hope this has been informative for you guys. You learned a little bit about grinders, maybe adjusting your grinder if you haven't done that in the past. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have questions, leave them down in the comments below. Uh, make sure to like the video if you enjoyed it. Um, subscribe to our channel for notifications if you want to see more videos like this. Thank you guys again for watching. Have a great day.